We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the ground. And then, my friends, all of this will finally be ours. He sent me away, that day, at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. I could do this all day. In fact, Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry.
believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. They will We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them in a fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. What? Well, your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. to help me you won't lose your leg that much i can promise you but it will hurt some for a time longer honor i simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time i need help from you from anyone i think i have someone for you
Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. Diana, perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Many thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh, caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impress me greatly. Well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Old man. Achilles.
What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service, then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood, Aki. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I will make you proud, old man. <laughs> 